the law of one unabridged transcription of contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 26. I am RAW. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. I communicate now. Questioner. The first question is that, is any of the changing of what we've done here for the instrument going to affect communication of the instrument in any way? Have we set up here all right? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, and do you mean that everything is satisfactory for continued communication? I am raw. You meant that the changes affect this communication. Questioner, should we discontinue this communication because of these changes, or should we continue? I am raw. You may do as you wish. However, we would be unable to use this instrument at this space-time nexus without these modifications. Questioner, assuming that it is all right to continue, we're down to the last 3,000 years of this present cycle, and I was wondering if the law of one in either written or spoken form has been made available within this past 3,000 years in any complete way such as we're doing now? Is it available in any other source? I am raw. There is no possibility of a complete source of information of the law of one in this density. However, certain of your writings passed to you as your so-called holy works have portions of this law. Questioner, does the Bible as we know it have portions of this law in it? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, can you tell me if the Old Testament has any of the law of one? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, which is more of the law of one in it, the Old Testament or the New Testament? I am raw. Withdrawing from each of the collections of which you speak the portions having to do with the law of one, the content is approximately equal. However, the so-called Old Testament has a larger amount of negatively influenced material, as you would call it. Questioner. Can you tell me about what percentage is Orion influenced in both the Old and the New Testaments? We prefer that this be left to the discretion of those who seek the law of one. We are not speaking in order to judge. Such statements would be construed by some of those who may read this material as judgmental. We can only suggest a careful reading and inward digestion of the contents. The understandings will become obvious. Questioner, thank you. Could you please make the instrument cough? Cough. Questioner. Thank you. Have you communicated with any of our population in the third density incarnate state in recent times? I am raw. Please restate, specifying recent times and the pronoun, you. Questioner, has raw communicated with any of our population in this century, in the last, say, 80 years? I am raw. We have not. Questioner, has the law of one been communicated within the past 80 years by any other source to an entity in our population? I am raw. The ways of one have seldom been communicated, although there are rare instances in the previous 8080 of your years. As you measure time, there have been many communications from fourth density due to the drawing towards the harvest to fourth density. These are the ways of universal love and understanding. The other teachings are reserved for those whose depth of understanding, if you will excuse this misnomer, recommend and attract such further communication. Questioner, did the Confederation then step up its program of helping planet Earth sometimes? Sometime late in this last major cycle, it seems that they did from the previous data, especially with the Industrial Revolution. Can you tell me the attitudes and reasonings behind this step up? Is there any reason other than that they just wanted to produce more leisure time in the last, say, a hundred years of the cycle? Is this the total reason? I am raw. This is not the total reason. Approximately 200, 200, of your years in the past, as you measure time, there began to be a significant amount of entities who by seniority were incarnating for learned teaching purposes rather than for the lesser of the learned teachings of those less aware of the process. This was our signal to enable communication to take place. The wanderers which came among you began to make themselves felt at approximately this time, firstly offering ideas or thoughts containing the distortion of free will. This was the prerequisite for further wanderers which had information of a more specific nature to offer. The thought must precede the action. Questioner, could you please make the instrument cough? Cough. Questioner, wondering if the one, Abraham Lincoln, could have possibly been a wanderer? I am raw. This is incorrect. This entity was a normal, shall we say, Earth being which chose to leave the vehicle and allow an entity to use it on a permanent basis. This is relatively rare compared to the phenomenon of wanderers. You would do better considering the incarnations of wanderers such as the one known as Thomas, the one known as Benjamin. Questioner, I am assuming you mean Thomas Edison and Benjamin Franklin? This is incorrect. We were intending to convey the sound vibration complex, Thomas Jefferson. The other, correct. Questioner, 
Thank you. Can you tell me where the entity that used Lincoln Abraham's body what density he came from and where? I am raw. This entity was fourth vibration. Questioner, I assume positive. That is correct. Questioner, was his assassination in any way influenced by Orion or any other negative force? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, Thank you. In the recent past of the last 30 to 40 years the UFO phenomenon has become known to our population. What was the original reason for I know there have been UFOs throughout history, but what was the original reason for the increase in what we call UFO activity say in the past 40 years? I am raw. Information which Confederation sources had offered to your entity, Albert, Einstein, became perverted and instruments of destruction began to be created, examples of this being the Manhattan Project and its product. Information offered through Wanderer, Sound Vibration, Nikola, Tesla, also being experimented with for potential destruction, example, your so-called Philadelphia experiment. Thus, we felt a strong need to involve our thought forms in whatever way we of the Confederation could be of service in order to balance these distortions of information meant to aid your planetary sphere. Questioner, then what you did, I am assuming, then, is to create an air of mystery with the UFO phenomena, as we call it, and then by telepathy send many messages that could be either accepted or rejected under the following, of course, the law of one so that the population would start thinking seriously about the consequences of what they were doing. Is this correct? I am raw. This is partially correct. There are other services we may perform. Firstly, the integration of souls or spirits, if you will, in the event of use of these nuclear devices in your space-time continuum. This the Confederation has already done. Questioner, I don't fully understand what you mean by that. Could you expand a little bit? I am raw. The use of intelligent energy transforming matter into energy is of such a nature among these weapons that the transition from space-time third density to time-space third density or what you may call your heaven worlds is interrupted in many cases. Therefore, we are offering ourselves as those who continue the integration of soul or spirit complex during transition from space-time to time-space. Questioner, could you please give me an example from, let us say, Hiroshima or Nagasaki of how this is done? I am raw. Those who were destroyed, not by radiation, but by the trauma of the energy release, found not only the body-mind-spirit complex made unviable, but also a disarrangement of that unique vibratory complex you have called the spirit complex which we understand as a mind-body-spirit complex, to be completely disarranged without possibility of reintegration. This would be the loss to the creator of part of the creator and thus we were given permission, not to stop the events, but to ensure the survival of the, shall we say, disembodied mind-body-spirit complex. This we did in those events which you mention, losing no spirit or portion or holograph or microcosm of the macrocosmic infinite one. Questioner, could you please make the instrument cough and then tell me just vaguely how you accomplished this cough? I am raw. This is accomplished through our understanding of dimensional fields of energy. The higher or more dense energy field will control the less dense. Questioner, but then, in general then you're saying that if we will allow Earth, the population of this planet to have a nuclear war on many deaths from that war, but you will be able to create a condition where these deaths will be no more traumatic, shall I say, with respect to entrance to the heaven world or astral world or whatever we call it than death by a bullet or normal means of dying of old age. Is this correct? I am raw. This is incorrect. It would be more traumatic. However, the entity would remain an entity. Questioner, can you tell me the condition of the entities who were, shall I say, killed in Nagasaki and Hiroshima? At this time, what is their condition? I am raw. They of this trauma have not yet fully begun the healing process. They are being helped as much as is possible. Questioner, when the healing process is complete with these entities, will this experience of the death due to the nuclear bomb cause them to be, shall we say, progressed in their climb toward the fourth density? I am raw. Such actions as nuclear destruction affect the entire planet. There are no differences at this level of destruction, and the planet will need to be healed. Questioner, I was thinking specifically if an entity was in Hiroshima or Nagasaki at the time and he was reaching harvestability at the end of our cycle, would this death by nuclear bomb possibly create such trauma that he would not be able to be harvestable at the end of the cycle? That was specifically my question. I am raw. This is incorrect. Once the healing has taken place the harvest may go forth unimpeded. However, the entire planet will undergo healing for this action, no distinction being made betwixt victim and aggressor, 
this due to damage done to the planet. Questioner, could you please make the instrument cough? And cough. Questioner, and then, can you describe the mechanism of the planetary healing? I am raw. Healing is a process of acceptance, forgiveness, and, if possible, restitution. The restitution not being available in time space, there are many among your peoples now attempting restitution while in the physical. Questioner, how do these people attempt this restitution in the physical? I am raw. These attempt feelings of love towards the planetary sphere and comfort and healing of the scars and the imbalances of these actions. Questioner, then as the UFO phenomena was made obvious to many of the population, many groups of people reported contact. Many groups of people reported telepathic communication with UFO entities and many recorded the results of what they considered telepathic communication. Was the Confederation, shall we say, oriented to impressing telepathic communication on groups that became interested in UFOs? I am raw. This is correct although some of our members have removed themselves from the time-space using thought-form projections into your space-time, and have chosen, from time to time, with permission of the Council, to appear in your skies without landing. Questioner, then are all of the landings that have occurred except for the landing when Eisenhower was contacted, are all of those landings of the Orion group or similar type groups? I am raw. Except for isolated instances of those of, shall we say, no affiliation. This is correct. Questioner, is it necessary in each case for the entity who is contacted in one of these landings to be calling the Orion group? Or do some of these entities come in contact with the Orion group even though they are not calling that group? I am raw. You must plumb the depths of fourth density negative understanding. This is difficult for you. Once having reached third density space-time continuum through your so-called windows, these crusaders may plunder as they will, the results completely a function of the polarity of the, shall we say, witness subject or victim. This is due to the sincere belief of fourth density negative that to love self is to love all. Each other self which is thus either taught or enslaved thus as a teacher which teaches love of self. Exposed to this teaching, it is intended that there be brought to fruition and harvest of fourth density negative or self-serving mind-body-spirit complexes. Questioner, could you make the instrument cough, please? Cough. Questioner, then I am assuming all of the UFO groups who were getting telepathic contact from the Confederation were, shall we say, high priority targets for the Orion Crusaders, and I would assume that a large percentage of them were, shall we say, had their information polluted then. Can you tell me, do you have any idea what percentage of these groups were heavily polluted by the Orion information and if any of them were able to remain purely a confederation channel? I am raw. To give you this information would be to infringe upon the free will or confusion of some living. We can only ask each group to consider the relative effect of philosophy and your so-called specific information. It is not the specificity of the information which attracts negative influences. It is the importance placed upon it. This is why we iterate quite often, when asked for specific information, that it pales to insignificance. Just as the grass withers and dies while the love and the light of the one infinite creator redounds to the very infinite realms of creation forever and ever, creating and creating itself in perpetuity. Why then be concerned with the grass that blooms, withers and dies in its season only to grow once again due to the infinite love and light of the one creator? This is the message we bring. Each entity is only superficially that which blooms and dies. In the deepest sense there is no end to beingness. Questioner. Thank you very much. Could you please make the instrument cough? Cough. Questioner, as you have stated before, it is a straight and narrow path. There are many distractions. I plan to create an introduction, shall I say, to the law of one, traveling through and hitting the high points of the 75,000 year cycle, possibly a few questions into the general future. After this introduction to the law of one, as I call it, I would like to get directly to the main work which is creating an understanding that can be disseminated to those who would ask for it, and only to those who would ask for it, for an understanding that can allow them to greatly accelerate their evolution. I am very appreciative and feel it a great honor and privilege to be doing this and hope that we can accomplish this next phase. I have a question that the instrument has asked that I would like to ask for the instrument. She says, you speak of various types of energy blockages and transfers, positive and negative, that may take place due to participation in our sexual reproductive complex of actions. She states, 
Please explain these blockages and energy transfers with emphasis upon what an individual seeking to be in accordance with the law of one may positively do in this area. Is it possible for you to answer this question? I am raw. It is partially possible, given the background we have laid. This is properly a more advanced question. Due to the specificity of the question we may give general answer. The first energy transfer is red ray. It is a random transfer having to do only with your reproductive system. The orange and the yellow ray attempts to have sexual intercourse create, firstly, a blockage if only one entity vibrates in this area, thus causing the entity vibrating sexually in this area to have a never-ending appetite for this activity. What these vibratory levels are seeking is green ray activity. There is the possibility of orange or yellow ray energy transfer. This being polarizing towards the negative, one being seen as object rather than other self. The other seeing itself as plunderer or master of the situation. In third ray there are two possibilities. Firstly, if both vibrate in third ray there will be a mutually strengthening energy transfer. The negative or female, as you call it, drawing the energy from the roots of the beingness up through the energy centers, thus being physically revitalized. The positive, or male polarity, as it is deemed in your illusion, finding in this energy transfer an inspiration which satisfies and feeds the spirit portion of the body-mind-spirit complex, thus both being polarized and releasing the excess of that which each has in abundance by nature of intelligent energy, that is, negative intuitive, positive physical energies as you may call them. This energy transfer being blocked only if one or both entities have fear of possession, of being possessed of desiring possession or desiring being possessed. This should be fourth or green. Don and Raw corrected the error in session 32. The other green ray possibility is that of one entity offering green ray energy, the other not offering energy of the universal love energy, this resulting in a blockage of energy for the one not green ray thus increasing frustration or appetite. The green ray being polarizing slightly towards service to others. The blue ray energy transfer is somewhat rare among your people at this time but is of great aid due to energy transfers involved in becoming able to express the self without reservation or fear. The indigo ray transfer is extremely rare among your people. This is the sacramental portion of the body complex whereby contact may be made through the violet ray with intelligent infinity. No blockages may occur at these latter two levels due to the fact that if both entities are not ready for the this energy it is not visible and neither transfer nor blockage may take place. It is as though the distributor were removed from a powerful engine. This instrument was able, as an example of this working, to baffle the Orion group during tape blank experiences, as you call this substance, due to the fact that it effectively completely opened other self to third ray we correct this instrument, it is growing low in vital energy green ray energy and partially open other self to blue ray interaction. May we ask if you have any queries before we close? Questioner, if you would please make the instrument cough, I will ask one two quick things. Cough. Questioner, the instrument asks, how long do the debilitative effects that I am experiencing from the use of LSD last? And is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? I am raw. Firstly, the period of weakness of bodily complex is approximately three of your lunar cycles, the first ingestion causing approximately one of your lunar cycles, the second having a cumulative or doubling effect. Secondly, this instrument is well. You are most conscientious. I am raw. I leave you, my friends, in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth. Then, merry and glad and rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator, Adonai. End of session 26.